everyone. Firstly, how are we all doing? Are we all staying sane? Because my family's driving me crazy. I have a serious subject I'd like to talk to you all about. Mental health. One in four people in the UK will experience some sort of mental health problem. There are so many different types of mental health problems with depression, phobias, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, or anxiety, just to name a few. There are so many people who have had suicidal thoughts, attempted suicide, and or self-harmed. As a young person, many people think that our lives are easy. A child has nothing to worry about, no pressure, don't have negative thoughts and feelings, etc. But we do. Here are some scary facts for you. One in eight children have a diagnosable mental health disorder. One in six young people aged 16 to 24 has symptoms of a common mental health disorder such as depression or an anxiety disorder. Half of all mental health problems manifest by the age of 14 with 75% by the age 24. In 2017, suicide was the most common cause of death for both boys and girls aged between 5 and 19. Nearly half of 17 to 19 year olds with a diagnosable mental health disorder have self-harmed or attempted suicide at some point. Young people need more support. The average waiting time for children in 2017 to 2018 was 5 weeks to receive an initial assessment and 9 weeks to receive treatment. Less than 1 in 3 children and young people with a diagnosable mental health condition get access to NHS care and treatment. In a Young Mind survey, three quarters, 76%, of parents said that their children's mental health had deteriorated whilst f waiting for support from a child and adolescent mental health services, CAMS. In total, less than 1% of the total NHS budget is spent on children and young people's mental health services. The number of any attendances by young people aged 18 or under with a recorded diagnosis of psychiatric condition has almost tripled since 2010. Now I've baffled you with all the statistics, I will explain why I have shared this with you. My school is set up as a challenge. We have to do something kind during this Mental Health Awareness Week. I was wanting to host a big quiz using Zoom. I'm thinking we have something like 30 to 40 questions in a variety of subjects. So for example, history, music, sports, movies. And all I'm asking is that you please donate one pound to join the quiz. Young Minds is the UK's leading charity championing the well-being and mental health of young people. This is where your donations will be sent. I have chosen Young Minds for a few reasons. They help people like myself who suffer with high anxiety levels and panic attacks. Young Minds mission statement is to make sure that all young people get the best possible mental health support to have the resilience to overcome life's challenges. And they will achieve this with their four key strategy. Foster innovation to meet needs of the vulnerable and excluded children and young people. Promote good mental health to more children and young people than ever before. Champion the voices of young people and parents to influence mental health policy and practice. Inspire excellence to achieve transformed, integrated services. So your donations really make a difference. A donation of £5 will help a young person start their mental health experiences, which will reach thousands more young people to give them hope. A donation of £10 ensures the helpline volunteer is on the end of the phone to provide information and support to distressed parents. They need our support more than ever. A donation of £30 gives a parent or carer a 15 minute telephone call with a qualified mental health frontline worker who can provide clinical advice and guidance even during the lockdown. And I know this has been a long video and has lots of information in it, but I do hope you have understood how vital their help is to young children and people. Please, if you would like to join the quiz, drop a yes in the comments box below, along with your preferences of weekday or weekend, morning, afternoon or evening. Once I have a general idea of the best day and time, I will post further details of the day, time and where to send your donation. 
what information we will require to get you registered with our event. Please, if you can, join my mum and I to raise money for such an outstanding cause whilst having some fun time together. I'll also sweetheart my mum to get some prizes for the quiz and winner and runner up. Thank you for your time. Stay safe and we hope to see you joining in with us soon.